that today. Today we are going into Illusia Castle. After recovering two rings from the Mar from Marnie and Mavuere, the party reaches Illusia Castle at last. We're passing that evil cathedral, and we're going in. What? You let them take two of our rings? I apologize. See, we... We figured if we stole a couple rings, you'd be proud of us. There's no point stealing theirs if we keep losing ours, you morons! I'm sorry, okay? But Lord Sombron will understand. We're his favorites, after all. He's not gonna scold us for losing a couple rings. Marnie. Yes? You should have done as I ordered. No more, and no less. I cannot protect you this time. Me? It's your fault we lost the Ring of the Holy Knight! I was following Lady Vale's orders. Do you mean to suggest she is at fault? Well, no, but... I will not make excuses. If punishment is due, give it to me. You? Marnie was merely seeking your praise. I am to blame. I should have stopped her. What a selfless display. To see you show care for a fellow hound. <sighs> I'm touched. Or perhaps you fear what I'll do to Lady Vale if I'm angry. <sighs> Alas, it's too late. I've already cast the spell. What? You promised to wait until our return? I meant to, I really did. But then the defect awoke. I had no choice. And don't speak to me of promises. You have broken your vow to Lord Sombron. As the head of this family, I must punish my children when they misbehave. Punish? What are you gonna do? Marnie, run! I don't think so. Look at that. Both out cold. Seemed painful, too. Stop your salivating. You have work to do, and I'm leaving. What should I do with them? Oh, they'll come crawling back. They have nowhere to be but at my side. I trust you won't be distracted from the task I gave you. Even as they inflict pain upon you, pay attention. There mustn't be the slightest doubt. I know. I've got to see if that loser is Lord Sombron's kid. Here we are, in Lucia Castle. Sombron is likely within those walls. Vale, too. Yes. I hope she's safe. But there's a chance she'll face us as an enemy, not a friend. Be vigilant. At the first sign of danger, we should retreat. <sighs> What's wrong? Those words... They're Marth's. That's what he told me at Distinia Cathedral before... Before I lost him. We still haven't recovered from our defeat that day. What if it happens again? It won't. We're stronger than ever before. You've really stepped into your role of divinity. You really think so? Yes. That's why I know we'll get the emblems back. That's the highest praise you could give me. Let's go. Is Elusia Castle usually this quiet? No. I would at least expect royal soldiers to be standing guard. Maybe Sombron dealt with them. You mean, turn them into the corrupted? No. Who needs those boring soldiers when you can have me? Briss. Been a while, Divine One. Welcome. You must be tired after that long journey. Oh, and look, the long-lost princess. Got homesick, huh? <sighs> I gotta hand it to you. Two more rings in your pocket. Not bad. But for the complete set, you'll need more. Like this one. The Ring of the Caring Princess. 
It's the real deal, too. I'll prove it. Celica! I'll give her back. All you gotta do is beat me. What is this? Nothing. What, you think Lord Sauron's gonna show up? It's one against many. We'll crush you. Hmm, you know just what to say. Relax. No one's coming. If I'm wrong, I'll bite off my tongue and choke on my blood. What is this about? You want answers. You'll have to whack them out of me. Fine. I don't know what you're after, but we won't let this chance pass us by. Get ready, Gris. We'll make you give back that ring. Now you're talking. Make me, dragon. Tear me limb from limb from limb. We got this. We got clan, we got the right tools to do Let's keep the fun going. I'm gonna make you work for it. What? He vanished. Gris must be using Emblem Celica's power. He's probably hiding in the shadows. Be careful, everyone. Oh, I don't like that at all. With a warp Ragnarok? I'm at second view space warp command. It teleports to a faraway foot. Teleports a faraway foot. Would... No. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, that is bad. Okay. We fight for peace. Let's start with the plan. And let's break him here. Let's keep a spear on him because we can't see in the dark. We'll hold here because again we can't see in the dark. We're a speed taker. Perfect. Yes. We're gonna bring him up and we're going to use our Illume. This is a bit dangerous because we put him in range of some archers. But there are not archers on this side. Just terrifyingly speedy folks. Me, right? Oh. I was really hoping that we could get further along. But also, he can just one-shot him? 44? I guess the 24 damage is really just... It's that Devoted unimpressive. To you. Okay. Okay, well, let's kill... Well, since we know we can one-shot with Clan, let's do this, and let's... We're gonna engage early. Emblem, engage! Let's get some illumination. Allow me! That is a decent chunk of space. Here goes. Can you finish him off? Yes, you can. He hits so hard. I won't falter. Okay, that's looking good. Your steward's ready. We'll put Fram right here, and we'll loom. Ooh, and he has a killer axe. That's pretty killer. 40 damage, though. Your orders, please. Yeah, we can... What's he this do? 50% damage against broken foes. Yeah, you can't be broken against my boy here. And even if you crit, you're going to do, what, 12 damage at most? This is a solid move. 
Now we'll just defeat you here. We will put her right in front here, just in case there's any anything coming from this side. I'm ready for more. Shall I go? We'll bring Kigetsu up here too. And be sure. What do we got? So what's the plan? What? 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 Me, what? Mash me? Shred me to ribbons? <laughs> Allow me! <laughs> Holy crap! Again? Where did he go? I don't like that at all. Ah. Uh, how am I supposed to defend against that? Once you want me to rush in like a fool. Okay, we're gonna risk this here. Okay. Now these two can go this way to attack and deal six pitiful damage against my boy. Really, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that he's not gonna use a trap here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't walk into darkness at all. Oh. I just gotta see in. I gotta see in the dark. All right, that'll be fine. Okay, so that means I can move Ivy right here. Get a good mend in. Oh, that's a big help. I don't want him. I don't want to aggro the knight into that avoid pillar if I can help it. And we'll go for the spear. We're hoping for a fluid to assist here. Here we go. We're hoping for a Fuwa to hit and assist there, I should say. Uh, I think we'll I think we'll hold here and. Yeah, she's out of range of everyone else, so I think we're good just holding her here. Keeping the shielding art just for the extra defense. Okay, this part's a little bit more difficult. We're going to attack with the silver bow and just delete this guy. Unfortunate thing is, I think that we should hold Alfred here. The extra avoid is 60, which is going to be very nice. Silver blades. That's why they're hitting so hard. Or that's why he hits so hard. But we can take three hits with that, I think. And Alfred will give us some good dodge. 
We can even up that up here if we put the Iron Lance on it. Okay, we'll bring Kagetsu up here. Just, just seeing what's out in the dark. Um, do we want to keep with... I'm going with the extra avoid again, just because of how nervous I am. These guys hit fast and hard. I'm gonna fracture this guy's weapon so he doesn't attack Alfred twice. Here it goes. That's what we were afraid of. Oh! Can be smart about this. Oh, a smash. That's not good. No, 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 no. Is this as far as I go? I regret only that I can no longer serve. Ah, uh, Louis! Oh, oh no! Uh, I'm sorry, Divine One. <laughs> I almost had a chance to be useful, and now I can't be by your side anymore. That hurt so bad. And Louis moved over there. That was the end of his turn. I literally cannot get into that range. I am not a fan of this map. <laughs> Great! Wonderful! Okay. Louis here will be okay. We're going to pull here. We're doing it the same reason as before. We need to take this guy down, and we need to get Chloe in range to do a huge run to get on through there. Thank you. The men here is going to be great. I really don't like that. You can't plan around where Gris is gonna be. I'm sorry. To be fair, like the game warns you. If for the players that are paying attention, uh, we'll keep you in front of here so time doesn't get twice. 
like so like you weren't like it warns you it's like oh there's an a trap staff but like how are you really supposed to counter that specifically when the range is so far and he and he the boss is literally moving around the rap, the map trying to snipe you Can't have you attack with a silver axe with a speed of 19. Can you brave axe though? Maybe. That was tense. Okay. So only one person can attack Yushiran here, which means only. Two people can attack Alfred here, and we'll put put the Iron Lance on him. That should be safe. We'll bring. Which is what I want to do, because then I can next turn I can I can figure out a place to go like with the ice. Because I can Dragon Bane with some ice, and I get some extra movement there. Okay, and then I'll move Kigetsu here. I'll put the Killing Edge on him. They won't go. They'll go for Alfred, but that'll be an okay move for now. Okay, we'll send Fu with... We'll send Fu with this direction. And then we'll send Fram right here. That was the wrong person to attack, Mr. Silverblade. Oh! It was the right person to attack, because that puts you guy into space, doesn't it? Computer being smarter than me. I gotta risk it all to, to take this person down and get the staff. At least I can take him down. Okay, maybe I'm acting a bit dumb like here. I, broke him. I have a wrong range attack. And I'm just complaining for nothing. I could have just Astro Stormed this person. But I chose to make it harder myself. Ugh. Someone out there is watching this and just yelling, why don't you just use Astro Storm? I can keep going. Alright, well, we'll keep going, and we'll go and just finish you off with an Iron Axe. I have it. Oh, I was on the verge of tears. Ooh, more build. That's going to be great for that Brave Axe. Okay, with Jean, I think we're in a very unique position to... Light it. There we go. Now we know exactly where he's going to strike. And it is right here. And it's going to hurt. More importantly, that lights up the darkness, though. So we can safely move Fuith here to light the torch. And that's not going to be enough. Dang it. Okay. Well, the magic range... The whole idea is that we're not going to get in range of Gris. Because we're going to defeat that... S we're going to defeat that staff user. And we can just defeat this guy right here. Let's 
sort of like that, maybe? Okay. Here we go, with a full engage. get here, and then we can back up twice. That should be enough. Just take us out of the range of the other of the other knight, which is going to be good. There is nothing to fear. Okay, we got that. We're sending that back, and we're going to move right here. Oh, we are so dead, aren't we? Ugh. With a 16 defense, I mean, your void's pretty decent, but you're going to get hit by 15... This is just going to destroy you. 49 to 16. You'll survive. It's not going to be pretty, though. Can we do anything to mitigate it? Try this, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Okay, 41, it's like 25, and 15, that's 40. That's probably too much. Double. Why do you hit so hard? You're so dead. You're gonna double 19, that's like 11, 11, that's 22. That'll be okay. Hmm. I have an idea. We're not getting much use out of this heal staff. So if only we had something I would like to call a rescue. In fact, let's just pull you back. That's good, right? But we know that there's two units up here that are going to just destroy clan. Luckily, we can trade. Okay, that should hopefully be enough. It's still, it's still dangerous over there. As for here, okay, so he can only attack from the front direction. There's only one way that we can survive both a hit from him and him. I think that he that Gris will go for a Bucheron. But our best chance of survival. Let us become one. 
is to warp right here together. And just to be safe. I love you all. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you. And we'll pull up here to do just a little bit more taunting. Let's see what happens. Been friends. Have at you. Okay, that works. Okay, left side's clear. <laughs> left side, right side's not clear, is it? Fan's gonna get killed. Divine One. I almost had a chance to be useful. Oh man! All right. So your movement is six, and you were like one, two, three, four. All right, this is gonna work. So that's six, right? So that's like one, two, I'm putting it at the screen, you can't see it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So literally that was as far as he could go. So all we need to do is warp him a space further. Got something. Now that side's good. We'll come up here, engage. Ember, engage. Revival stone. Saw that already. And then we'll move Alfred up here just by one. This is gonna hit Usheron, but we'll be okay. I'll show you hey! <laughs> At least he's taking two like one dam two damage every single time he casts a spell. So if we if you keep up with this, he'll eventually just stop, you know? Not enough! Even mighty ones fall! You still gonna double crit for me? We could have been friends. Oh thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Yep. There we go. You were beautiful while you lasted. Avenge clan who it didn't die because of a time magic time crystal. Yeah, that's unfortunate because I don't want her to get poisoned. But that's gonna be okay overall. All right. Okay, we survived another turn. Now we just don't know where Chris is. And then Alfred can take you on. No problem. Quickly now. No. Nice. We'll move you up here, I think, just to get a little bit more space. And then we'll move Kagetsu up there. But first things first, we're going to heal you here. That's a weight off. So I'm taking you, some hits. Yep. You have 
Oh, you got it. This right here. That was tense. So our proficiency, that's pretty good. Okay. And then we'll move Kigetsu right here. That's the space where no one can get on the pillar. There's so many places he could be. Okay, whatever we do here, we need to defeat this guy quickly and quickly. Okay. Louie, you can take someone if they're in the avoid square. Ooh, a res. That's actually really good right now. Ew. Okay, Mage Knight. We'll move you over here to get a little bit more vision. Excellent. First, I can just attack with Thorin. Then I can jump forward here. Oh, I can hit with a Rider's Bane. Yeah. If this love is a crime. That's an open spot, so there could be enemy units right up here. I think I'm gonna move back just to hold here. I can move here. I'll use a torch. Okay. Nothing over here. I tossed out your heal, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, we'll move here. We'll just physic. You're my hero! That's such a bad use of physic. But at least I can trade with the convoy here. I am not going to use flashing fist art anytime soon, I think. You know what? No. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep everything on it. I'm gonna use the mend and I'm for the three hole right here. Thank you. But it's Okay. Is there anyone else that we can really target or hit? We will hit one of the thieves when we get the chance to. We'll hold here. There he is. Allow me. Taking one damage. Still damage. So I have to rescue, not a big deal. Ooh, a brave bow. I really want one of those. Okay. Here we go. This is the biggest risk I'm taking right now. But I need to see. Chris. So we can pull we can start pulling these folks over here. He has a silver sword. We don't have a That'll do. Really do a ton here. 
As for this side, we don't have a ton of a loom that we can do here, do we? Can wait with a life sphere. We can pull with Kagetsu up here. I'm not worried about him getting one shot or one hit or anything like that. We are going to engage here though. Because even if we can't take down Briss, we can take down one of his healers. Javelin, just in case. Ooh! Let's have a torch. Perfect! Silver lances! That's not gonna be too bad to deal with. And this next turn, we can get some ice, and then we can really push forward. Uh, on this side... There's really not a whole lot more we can do other than heal up here. Thank you. I'll we'll move through with right here to make it just a nice big wall here. Okay. So we'll just. We don't have another good heal target, so we'll just finish here. I feel wonderful. Well, I guess we can start doing a little chip damage. Seek? Me too. Let's get vicious. Ooh, we move back. That's good. <laughs> Speed and build. There we go. Silver blade, which is nice. Book, which is also good. You didn't move forward? Oh, you jerk. Okay, well, we are going to be aggressive with Ivy so that we can actually light the place. So, what we got? be a big fan of that brave axe. Okay. And then we'll move you here. 
have you break. You won't break because you're using a lance. Spear. It's too. Man. Spear's too slow. Keep you here. Look, he gets you here on the avoid tile. We'll call some doubles for good measure. And we'll use the physic of the. We'll use the physic next turn. We'll use the last loom use over here. really good. Another HP I won't complain about, I guess. And then we'll move him up here. I had to stop you. Alright, level 10. Ah, pretty good. St it's it's alright stuff. Okay, most importantly we have Killer X in range of this guy, that's, that'll be good. How's it, okay, how's it going? Oh! Welcome to the stream, John Master one It's not going too bad. We've gotten through the worst of this darkness map. Who is your commander? Alright, and then you are gonna come and you're gonna attack. I need that to be okay. But I will not lie, Gris, Gris has been a pretty big pain this map. Well, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so he's been he's been in the darkness and he's been popping out, but I attacked one of his healers and he seems to be sitting here on this tile now, which is all, honestly a lot better. We're Wrapping up here, our next goal is to take out these two thieves who looted these treasure chests so that we can get this, these brave items. And then I think we're going to lure Grease out to the middle and just des destroy him. Ugh, is the goal. Ow. Is there anyone that really needs any healing over here? Ah, great help. Three, fifteen, twenty-two. Good level up for for her. A couple extra defenses are going to be very nice. It hurts. Hit on a twenty-eight percent doesn't feel good. Oh, you attacked the wrong guy. Ivy was wide open. Are you doing it for the, the cover attack so I can get a little you can get a little chip damage? Okay, alright, alright, AI. I see what you're trying to do. Still the wrong move to make. Uh, 
Corian Marine is my avatar. That's exactly what I look like. Oof. Okay. There are a lot of enemies on this side. I think what we're going to have to do is use Rex Caliber here and take out this axe user. Allow me. Mediocre. From here. Or what's this dagger do? Fighting knife intending for close combat. It looks like a pretty powerful knife. Then he throws over here. I think that's what I'll do. Okay. There are no bad ideas. I think the only bad ideas would be Dream well. if you decided to maybe launch a cannon at your own forces, thinking it only damaged the enemy. See, that was a bad idea on my part that I did last map, so... Can't get any worse than that. Ooh, yeah, okay, okay. So because of the the lighting, it makes it harder to see over here. Which means that Lou is gonna ha not going to be able to attack the thief until I can see them. Okay. So I can go forward here, take a bit of a risky move... And go for the go for the kill here. Hook my healer. I'll go first. A noble sacrifice. Peshkash attained. That's good. You could send the weakest character with no dodge or luck at him. I could do that, but I am playing the Fire Emblem on the permadeath difficulty, so if one of our units dies, they die for good. And that would make... We'll move... I think we'll move Chloe over here. Just in case there's any more physical units in the center that are going to cause us grief. You were beautiful while you lasted. And then we'll jump over here. I'll go first. Unforgivable. And strength and magic. Magic and defense, that's really good. Ivy's defense really isn't half bad. Grant hits plus 10 when using a staff. Staffs also heal additional to HP. That'll be okay. And then we'll move Louis here. Perfect. For this side, I, I'm foreseeing this is going to go a lot better. I'm not sure why you didn't move up. Your avoid isn't that low there. Okay, so we'll actually go here, and then we'll take care of this one with the bow. Coming through. We're not done. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. I've got lots to spare. I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. That was just a beautiful turn. And from here, we will move... Bucheron, and we'll have him strike with that Iron Axe for that 100% hit. Say your goodbyes! I hope you find peace. 
Must have been a bad idea because he crit for me. From here. I'd rather Alfred get poisoned. He has a larger HP pool and a much larger. And a much a much larger defense score. We're gonna go with the javelin for the extra 10% chance to hit. I'll cut you down! Oh, he'll just crit for me. That makes it easy. Thanks. Um, we're not gonna need rescue on him. And we're not gonna need silver blade on him right now either. Okay, we'll keep you there. And then we'll bring Getsu up here. Making sure that we have a range on the boss. Keep you right here with the killing edge. That should take care of business there. And we can... Light the torch. That's gonna be troublesome. Even mighty ones fall. <laughs> nice crit. That guy being in the pillars is not gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so Gris is down here, so he can move five, I think. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Which means that he has a very long range right now. He's gonna pick a side, and I need to be ready. On either side. Is I'm going to finish off this guy with Kigetsu. What a great level up. That strength and that speed. That res is gonna come in handy right now too. Okay. So with that there. I think the only person who can't take a hit right now is Alfred. We're on Bushur on up. Let's see if we can get a little bit of vision, which we can't do. He's going to be okay because of Life Sphere. I'm a bit worried that Kagetsu is going to be in range. And he won't be able to survive a, a direct attack unless I heal him right now. My good friend! I think, Alfred, we're going to have to stick behind here. And we're gonna move Lynn down here so she can pick up this emblem energy the next the following turn. We're gonna have to follow a similar approach on this side. Okay, we need to take out this axe guy. Hopefully Fu has enough hit. Yeah, he has enough hit. That takes that makes that easy. I won't forget you. Now we'll just need to take care of the thief. We we'll want to move Louie down here because Louie and Magic do not mix. Allow me. And we'll move him right there to kind of block a little bit more. And then we can have Fram come down here, because she has a Physic. More importantly, she should be able to defeat this guy. For the Divine Dragon. 
And with the Brave Bow and the Convoy and a Secret Book in the Convoy, that's really going to help out later maps. Let's try using Reflect while we still have it up. I don't think it's going to work against Warp Ragnarok. But it'd be interesting if it did. Okay, so Grease is right here, and then he has his little stooge. And I think we can take out this little guy right now. right here in the center. Okay, so with his 49 magic, he has low speed, so he's just going to hit someone really hard. And everyone has should have enough HP to really take a hit. So we should be good. And we're not really in. F can we physic heal? Okay, gets you to full health. I think we can. I could quit you. All right, here we go. What the heck? Yeah, that's not unexpected. We figured he would go after him. Okay. Can Alfred double? Oh my goodness. This is super slow. Okay, we'll go here. She'll be our backup if this if nothing works this turn. Three health things to go through. Sorry, foo with that direction. Can light that up just in case he decides to walk around again. This puts her in an okay range of physics, not my favorite. Okay. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna see what we can do with the killing edge. I bet you we can crit and we can take one of his health bars down right now. We could have been friends. Yep. <laughs> oh, Sally, you are all fired up, aren't you? Let loose. <laughs> this feels good. So good. I'm gonna kill you. All of you! Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. If a non corrupted foe attacks a unit, deals 50% damage taken back to foe. Oh. Well, I don't like that at all. I think we're gonna go in with this. That'll take him down to 25. Hurry! Uh. I can't believe he's using his slow speed against us. All right, there we go. So then we're gonna come up with Alfred. And then Alfred is going to do enough damage to defeat him right here. I have it. Oh yeah! What a workout. We'll keep him here, just so we have more room to operate. Okay. 
Okay, from here... We'll need to attack with Chloe. The 6 is down to 2 HP. Hurry! Move her back. And now it's a matter of who should we get the kill with. We're gonna go with Jean, the warrior doctor. I have it! Ugh. Exquisite. Chris did not disappoint. This whole map was so painful. <laughs> That's the good stuff right there. And good defenses on him too. That's gonna really help out for his class. And the bomb goes up after units or axe or weights and flames. And he has more or other similar. Okay. Unit clears effect and recovers heat. Thanks, me. Nice. That seemed like a very final defeat, Gris. The ring, we got it back. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Me? Nothing. Better summon her. Want to free her from Lord Sombron's power, don't you? I know. Care for us. Emblem of Echoes! <sighs> I thank you. <sighs> Emblem Celica. It's such a relief to have you back again. <laughs> 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 oh man, ain't this whole thing just a laugh riot? Sophia, that little hunch of yours was so dead on! I think it's clear you've lost your mind. Look at you acting all high and mighty. It's clear you've lost your mind. Yeah, that's cute. The real question is, have you lost yours? You're playing up this whole thing like you're a god, but you're fighting on the wrong side. Why are you staring at me with that stupid look on your face? You think you're a divine dragon? Let me set you straight. You are the child of the fell dragon! I am his child? No, but... how? How dare you utter such slander, such lies! If the dragon doesn't remember it, how the hell would you know anything? Were you there a thousand years ago? Hmm? I'll tell you how I figured it out. Divine and fell dragons can both summon emblems, right? But they don't do it the same way. Divine dragons pray. Fell dragons, though. They use invocations. <laughs> That's how you summon Selica. That's how you've done it all along, isn't it? Which means you're... Say it with me. The Fell Dragon's child. But then... I don't understand. Why did Mother call me her child? How should I know? You'll have to ask her. Oh, wait. You blackguard! <laughs> Sticks and stones, buddy! Anyway, now I've got what I came for. Too bad it cost me a ring, but I was told to buy time, and I did. Lord Sombron and Lady Vale should be long gone by now. You mean they were here after all? Whoops. Didn't mean for that to slip out. Ah well, your Divine Dragon's a fraud. Take your time falling apart. Will you scatter to the winds? Cut each other's throats? So many options. See ya. Halt! I'm... I'm the Fell Dragons. 
He was lying, Divine One. I don't believe a word of it. We can't be divided by the enemy. We must be calm. Saying Sombron isn't here may have been another attempt to mislead us. Let's look around and make sure. Well? This place is well and truly deserted. Yes. Sombron is no longer in the castle. What should we do now? <sighs> if what Gris said is true, I should leave. What do you mean, leave? The night Mother died? I had a nightmare where I was surrounded by flames. My hair and eyes were red. Now I see. It wasn't a nightmare. It was a memory. One bad dream doesn't prove anything. Maybe not. But this will. Emblem Sigurd. I am here. You knew me a thousand years ago, didn't you? Answer this. Was Gris telling the truth? Am I the Fell Dragon's child? <laughs> you are. <sighs> How can this be? So it's true. I apologize. With your memories lost, we thought you could be happy living this way. That is what Lumera and I agreed upon the day you awoke. Why did Mother call me her child? Sombron had turned his back on you. Your life was in danger. Both you and Lumera wished, above all else, to be a family. That is the fullness of my knowledge. That's plenty, Sigurd. Thank you. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm not a divine dragon. I never was. You have nothing to apologize for. Only a divine dragon could imprison Sombron as Mother did. What chance do we have now of surviving this war? Without such power? There's no hope of stopping Sombron. Why would you assume you lack the power of a divine dragon? <sighs> you have fell dragon blood, yes. But you forget your own abilities. Think back to Flora Port, when my ring was returned and you summoned me. But I used an invocation. Emblem summoned through a fell dragon's power cannot communicate. <sighs> Think back upon emblem summoned with a fell dragon's power. Could they speak? No. When I called out to them, they didn't answer. Please, explain further, Sir Sigurd. A fell dragon's invocation robs an emblem of their free will. Their service is compulsory. With a prayer, the emblem keeps their free will. A divine dragon would wish nothing less. You use both invocation and prayer. You mean... I do have the power of a divine dragon. Precisely. Your hair and eyes prove the fact eloquently. At one time, both were red. The blue is proof that through Lumera's love, you have inherited a divine dragon's power. Lumera shortened her life so that you could succeed her as the divine dragon. Mother. We emblems fight alongside you of our own volition. We could only deepen our bonds with you because you have the power of a divine dragon. You are the one intended to carry on Lumera's legacy. Will you still leave after hearing this? Is that your wish? No, I want to stay. I can't change that I'm the Fell Dragon's child. I know that, but I would like to continue on as the Divine Dragon. If you will have me. Of course we will. Oh, Alfred. Sure, first we came to you because we needed your help. But now I care about you. Fell or divine or whatever else. We need you. So no more talk about leaving us. We'd never have made it this far without you. I will follow wherever you lead. If you have only half of your power, so be it. We'll make up for the other half. What matters to me isn't how you were born. It's what you do with the life you're given. If you choose to live as a divine dragon, then that's what you are. Conflicted as I might be, I am made resolute by the terror I feel at losing you. Because, to me, you are the Divine Dragon. Your leaving would not change that bond. Everyone agrees. After all, you are what connects them. You are, and always shall be, the Divine Dragon. Thank you, everyone. There's much I don't know. 
I may have made choices in the past that I can't take back, but for now, I'll continue on this journey with you. We emblems will follow you, completely of our own free will. Like, we all knew that he was the Fell Dragon's kid. We knew that there was something with the Lumer thing. So, like, it wasn't really a twist. We all knew it was leading up to this, and it kind of resolved itself pretty quickly. And I'm kind of glad that we didn't get, like, three or four chapters of him in self-doubt, and we're going to deal with the consequences in the upcoming chapter. I think that's really nice. Divine Dragon. Mavir, it's you. I overheard your conversation about being Lord Sombron's child. If that is true, then I urge you to help Lady Vale. What? You're not here to stop us? All this time, Lady Vale has been sustained by a desire to meet her sibling. If she sees you, she will be saved. I know it. I'd like to support her, like my friends here have supported me. Vale, the true Vale, has been a friend to us. But we don't know where she is. She is traveling with Lord Sombron to the land of Lethos. Lethos? But why? You will have to trust me. I can explain on the way. What do you think? Let's go with him. Does that mean that Mavier was recruitable? He's probably going to be a unit that's hanging around with us and he's going to he's probably going to die this next chapter. Which is unfortunate. I really like I like him. I want to know more about him. I want to know why he was serving the Lord Sombron in in the beginning anyway. Really come in clutch. I'm a lot stronger than I look. Saline has oh, arrived. Easy. Yeah, uh, 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 cut me down most effectively. I, I did it. I won. Yeah, but that's not gonna give you a lot of. She seems like a lot more fun of this a unit is my chance than to shine. I, I benched her. I won't go easy on you just because we're allies. <laughs> and damn it, the unit I really wanted to be good. I can learn much from your strength. Apologies in advance for the devastation. Hmm. Let's try not to hurt each other, okay? Ooh. Oh, they're good. They gimps, John. They gave him a shielding arm. If he had his other one where he could attack twice, it's been an he would have taken him out. I'm sorry that you stood no chance. I'm also sorry. But, uh, Edelgard. I've heard you were researching the medicinal plants of this world. You're very studious. It's important to keep medicine on hand. You never know when someone might get poisoned. Oh, are you making antidotes? Do you need a test subject? My body can take it. You really aren't afraid of anything, are you? I hope that confidence leads to a long life. <laughs> I'm so excited to fight alongside you, Sir Sigurd. You're like a knight right out of a fairy tale. I am no storybook hero. Only a man who fights for the people. Something we both believe in. Him. No way! You're a twin like me? And a younger twin sister too? We're gonna get along so good. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. Perhaps we can trade tips on how best to handle older brothers. <laughs> hmm. Ivy, do you think maybe it's time we talked? Whatever you're feeling toward me, I'm prepared to listen. As allies, I'd like there not to be walls between us. Very well. I am rather more comfortable around you now, so... I suppose it's time. I'm glad to hear that. Can we start with why you seem to have such anger toward me? I love you. Huh? I love you, Divine One. My feelings began long before I met you. Understand, I do not mean romantically. I adore you as a worshipper adores a deity. But you looked so upset when you were staring at me before. My deity was standing before me in the flesh. I was nervous. Oh. Do you understand now? Yes, um, thank you for sharing that. I, um, like you as well, Ivy. Yes, may I be excused? Oh, yes, yes, of course. And... And... I'm sorry. We'll speak again later, Divine One. 
Usharan of Firinay, are you not? You appear quite formidable. That is why I, Kagetsu of Illusia, challenge you to pit your abilities against mine. You have an eye for skill, I see. Challenge accepted. Excellent. Now, let our weapons speak for us. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Fancy. Needs more oomph, though. <sighs> Magnificent duel. But let us be done for today. I must say that was thrilling. You did not disappoint. Your physique gives you power, but you are equally light on your feet in defense. Hey, you weren't bad yourself. I haven't seen moves like yours before. <laughs> Very tough to block. Have you not? That must be because I learned them in my homeland. You're not from Illusia? Not originally. My home and its unique culture are far away from here. Do tell. That's very interesting. If you wish to know more, you must duel me again. I do not part with secrets for nothing. <laughs> All right. Count me in. Good, then. I look forward to our next contest. I'll be practicing. Hmm. Fishing is harder than it looks, huh? You got any tips? Like, is there a certain way I should be pulling for maximum flex? I'm sorry, but the only thing on my mind when I fish is the bobber. Then how do you do it? Patience, I suppose. Patience, got it. Here I go. Being patient. 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 I have a better idea. We get a big net, throw it in the water, and use those muscles to pull it out. Think of all the fish we could catch at once! Our haul would be considerable, but what you suggest is less fishing than trawling. Yeah, you got a point there. If fishing bores you, feel free to pursue your own activities. I won't mind. <laughs> uh, you know me too well. Honestly, I've never been one to sit still, but I don't want to give up on fishing either. Why not, if I may ask? Because it's a way to spend time with you, Boucheron. I... I see. We've always been close, but lately we haven't gotten much alone time. I'm doing my best to savor moments like this. So I'll sit here and keep fishing. Even if neither of us catches anything, it's fine with me. Ha. <laughs> you know, about my physique, I suppose I am just naturally muscular. But I am glad to be gifted with such a body if it helps me look after you. Boucheron, I'm getting a tug on the line! A big one, I'd say. Do your best not to let it get away. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I think the line is about to snap. I'll help you. We'll land this fish together. With you at my side, it's practically in the bag. Get set to get hooked, fishy! Bright, forthcoming. <sighs> Sean, you seem pale. I've just been thinking. About what? I'm scared of losing people, Chloe. Every day on the battlefield, people get hurt. Some even die. I've seen things that I could never have imagined back in my peaceful hometown. Doesn't any of this scare you? Of course it does. And I'm sure we're not the only ones. But there are things we have to do, even if it means facing our fears to do them. That's the thought that drives us all to fight, day after day. It's what drives me, at least. Things we have to do, even if it's scary, huh? I'm sure you have some, too. I've seen you stand out on the battlefield without running from injury or death. I suppose so. Thank you, Chloe. It probably won't ever get less scary, but that doesn't mean I'll run. Not when I've got a steadfast friend like you. Steadfast. I like the sound of that. Besides, you have an iron stomach, right? People like that are hard to kill. Although, if your stomach does hurt after eating something strange, see me straight away. <laughs> I'm touched by your concern. I mean it, okay? Seriously. I won't go dying on you, Jean. Not so long as you're watching out for me. Okay, I'm back. And I brought fry to you. Nice. Oh, they cut it into little bite-sized chunks, too. Time to give it the old taste test. Go for it. 
Mm, these are good. There's a nice softness to the inside once you get past the outer crust. Hmm? Oh, what's up? Oh no, don't tell me. This is an eel. Oh, I'm so, so, so sorry. So, uh, what am I eating? I just checked the receipt, and it's... fried bugs. Bugs? Oh, that's amazing! I had no idea bugs could be so delicious! Are you... you're really okay with that? Hmm? Well, sure. It's gonna be tough to stop myself from eating all of them. Wow. I thought for sure you'd be mad. What's to be mad about? Thanks to you, I've got a new kind of folk food to look out for. If I'd sent anyone else, I'd just be eating the same old fried eel again. I should keep you in mind for the next time I'm too busy to hit up a new food stall, too. I'd love that. Anything to be helpful. So, can I take your order for the next time? Hmm, what am I in the mood for? Wait, what am I saying? The whole point is to see what you managed to come up with. Finding out what you somehow bring me is half the fun. Who knows what I'll end up eating next? <laughs> Thanks! Here's to more mystery meals! <sighs> Hello, Fram. Did you forget the history book today? Or did you already finish it? I... quit studying history. You quit? What happened? I thought you were finally having fun with it. Prince Diamant, you said you wanted to bring peace to the world. But is that really true? Of course it is. I would never lie about that. Then why does Brodia keep attacking Illusia? Well... I read the histories of both kingdoms. There are helpless citizens in Illusia that fear Brodia. When you talk about ending war, do you really mean conquering Illusia? Is that peace? <sighs> the more I read in that history book, the less I understood the world. It was scary. That's why I put it down. I'm done. I quit. Brodia... is a kingdom of warriors. It does have a regrettable history of seizing territory by force. And it is true that some people in Illusia have been hurt by... and have grown to hate Brodia. That's an undeniable part of my kingdom's past. But I won't let it be part of our future. It may not be easy, but I mean what I say. There will be change. In your own kingdom, you mean? Yes. Please, believe me. I don't know. You skipped right over the bad parts of Brodia's history last time. I didn't mean to hide any of that from you. But... I suppose I have a guilty conscience about these things. I understand why you'd be upset with me. No, no. I'm not upset. I just... Uh, I don't know. I'm really letting this get to me, huh? History is so heavy. Clan and Fuith. Ready for some pickles. Clan! You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Yes, I'm feeling much better now that I've gotten some rest. Good. Please try not to overwork yourself going forward, all right? Uh, listen, it's like I said. We stewards waited a thousand years for you to wake up, and you're as amazing as I imagined. No, even more so, but I... I failed you. I'm supposed to make your life easier. Instead, I made you worry about me. I'm really sorry. Sorry, you're doing a great job, Clan. It's really heartening to see how hard you work. It is? Yes, and not just that. I know you've always been there to support me, even since before I woke up. I find it quite touching how deeply you care for me. Yes, well, of course I... <laughs> Clan, are you crying? I'm just really happy. The Divine Dragon thinks I did a good job. I'm going to keep on doing whatever I can to help you out. I appreciate that, but please. I know, I know. I'll make sure not to push myself too hard. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Engage! Bonsoir!